Good day kids! Today we are going to learn about measuring weight using spring scale. Before that, let me introduce to you the standard units of weight. So when we say unit in weight means a system you use to describe how heavy or light the object is. So we have two units. The first one is kilogram. So kilogram is also written as kg. So this is the shortcut or the symbol of kilogram, kg. The next one we have gram. The symbol of gram is g. So always remember that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. For us to get the exact measure of weight, we need to use a measuring tool. So we can call it spring scale. A spring scale consists of different parts. The first one is face. So let's describe what is face. There are numbers from 0 to 7 and a pointer. So we have the pointer here. And then the number we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So each unit represents 1 kilogram. So this is 0, 1 kilogram, 2 kilogram, 3 kilogram, 4 kilograms, 5 kilograms, 6 kilograms, and 7 kilograms. Another description of the face, there are 10 unmarked divisions in between each kilogram mark. So take a look at this. So we can count like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and ten divisions. Each division represents 100 grams. So we can count like 0, 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, 400 grams, 500 grams, 600 grams, 700 grams, 800 grams, 900 grams, 1 kilogram or 1,000 grams. So another part of a spring scale, we have pan. So the object measured is placed in the pan. So we need to put the object we want to measure here for us to know how heavy or light it is. Let's have an example in measuring weight. So the pointer points to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth division between zero and one kilogram marks. So each division counts 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, 400 grams, 500 grams, 600 grams. So therefore, the two carats weigh 600 grams. Another example, we have here a bag of sugar. So the pointer points to the one kilogram mark so therefore, this sugar bag weighs 1 kilogram or 1,000 grams. Again, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Another example we have here, a watermelon. So the pointer points to the 2 kilogram mark. Therefore, this watermelon weighs 2 kilograms or 2,000 grams. In this figure, the pointer points near at 1 kilogram marks to first, second, third division. So therefore, the six apples weigh 1 kilogram and 300 grams or 1,300 grams. Next example, we are going to measure the weight of lanzones. So the pointer points near at 3 
kilogram mark. So, meaning to say, we will put 3 kilograms and then 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. So, this is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 grams. So, 3 kilograms and 500 grams. Or, 3,500 grams. Okay, last example. We have here two bunch of bananas. So, the pointer points near a 2 kilogram mark. So, meaning to say we will put 2 kilograms. And then, first, second division. So, second division, that is 200 grams. So, 2 kilograms and 200 grams or 2,200 grams. For your activity, please open your book on page 30 to 31. On page 30, you're going to write the measurement in weight using kilogram and gram. And then on page 31, you are going to draw a pointer. That's all for today. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.